Smartphone batteries improve over time. Charging speeds improve over time. These days, you cannot find a smartphone with less than 4,000 milliamps of battery capacity. Also, now you can see charging speeds as fast as 18 watts, 33 watts, 65 watts, and even 120 watts. Charging on smartphones is so good now that it can now compete with laptops. Also, have you noticed that we use USB-C ports now instead of micro-USB? That's because USB-C is reversible and it can transfer files and support faster charging speeds. However, there's still this age-old tradition which is thought of to save battery life. Turning on airplane mode. Now, to answer that question, does it actually save battery life? Well, yes! Yes, it does. If that's the only thing why you came to my video, well, thanks for watching. However, if you're curious about my testing methods and how it does save battery life, then let's press on with the video. Small disclaimer, please bear in mind that the results may vary depending on the phone you're using. These may include factors such as software optimization, battery size, charging rate, your own usage, as well as the age of your phone and battery. As you may know, batteries degrade over time, and that's natural. Also, my phone isn't exactly new. So if you want to replicate the test yourself, I suggest using a phone fresh out of the box, as this will yield a more accurate result. As the name implies, airplane mode is intended for flights. Airlines require users to turn it on so that your phone's communications won't interfere with the plane's communications. When airplane mode is turned on, GPS services, cellular services, and Wi-Fi will be turned off. Although you can turn on location services as well as Wi-Fi together with airplane mode, it will not cause any problems. It is actually very simple to turn on airplane mode. Simply go to your notification bar and drag it down and turn on airplane mode. When airplane mode is turned on, you will see a small airplane icon on the top right of the notification bar of your phone. To determine whether airplane mode actually saves battery, I did the following test. First of all, I used the phone casually with and without airplane mode, then charged it from 10 to 100%, and finally used a battery benchmarking tool called PCMark to determine the enjoys of the phone when they use it with and without airplane mode. For this test, I used the TCL 10 5G as the control. You can actually see the review of it on the top right corner of this video. On regular settings, PC Mark's record was around 10 hours and 16 minutes, which is nothing out of the ordinary. I ran PC Mark again, but this time it's on airplane mode. And on airplane mode, PC Mark recorded 10 hours and 46 minutes. That's 30 minutes longer compared to the previous record. 8 to 10 percent might not sound significant, and that's only a 30 minutes addition. But what's important here is that we save battery. After all, 10% is still larger than 0% and you still have enough to at least text someone before you go home. Now, since PC Mark only allows you to drain the battery down to 20%, I drained the phone's battery some more, all the way down to 10%. I use the phone's given 18 watt charger to charge it until 100%. Charging time when Wi-Fi and data is turned on, clocked at around 2 hours. Meanwhile, on airplane mode, charging time clocked at almost the same time. It's surprising that the charging time with airplane mode is a little slower, but it is not significant since both clock at less than 2 hours and that charging significantly slowed down when the phone reached 99%. As I mentioned earlier, I also use the phone regularly both on airplane mode and without airplane mode, and the results are quite interesting. On regular use with Wi-Fi and data turned on, the phone lasted around 6 hours. Meanwhile, with airplane mode turned on, the phone lasted around 7 hours. That's an hour longer compared to my previous record. My regular usage involves using it for social media, the phone was in standby, I also use it to take videos and capture photos, as well as use it for gaming and watching movies. Based on my tests and experiments, airplane mode does help save battery. The reason why you save battery while using airplane mode is that you don't use cellular services. Just like processing apps in the background, you don't use that much battery. Well, I certainly had fun making this video and this small experiment. In fact, I want to do these types of videos again in the future. So if you want to see that, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you know when my next banger of a video drops. I hope you learned something from my video and if you do like this video, please click the like button. 
Otherwise, you can always click the dislike button. Any feedback is appreciated. My name is Rafael and I'm a technophile. See you soon. Thank you.